so long nobody and welcome to not another episode of Terminal Conclusions. For today's episode we will be attempting to unravel the paradox by Etta Sky. So a big thank you to Etta Sky for this one. This is a four part mini series map collection type thing which according to the description is full of the uncomprehensible. Because uh, that's how a paradox works, right? A series of uncomprehensible events starring Jim Carrey in an ever-declining career. Now, I don't really actually know what a paradox is. I think it's the one where you go back in time to stop yourself from being born so that you don't have to go back in time to stop yourself from being born. You know what? I have seen Time Cop. I'm sure I can work this out. Uh, I do believe this is going to be a bit of a weird one, though. And starting already, we have this small creepy confined corridor as all weird maps should start uh yeah a paradox so oh, what happened there okay okay we've started with the weird stuff already thought i tripped over something no it was just the walls closing in behind us it's one of those maps right are you gonna like are you gonna caught you no okay okay all right fine i thought it was gonna be one of those maps where everything is not quite as it would seem to be it is one of those maps isn't it because we're back here with a corridor that didn't exist a moment ago. So if I go back on this way now, it doesn't exist again? Is it that word? That word that people keep telling me, which I don't... Yeah, okay, it doesn't exist. Yeah, there's a word. Ecuadorian? No, that's a place. Uh, there's, there's a word that people keep telling me that means this kind of map. Where the world portal screws of your mind for the fun of screwing with the player's mind. Uh, okay, so we keep going around the slightly labyrinth type thing we found an actual bit of test chamber where there are some lights having a bit of a disco over there we'll try not to look at them too much okay we got some mesh we got some glass suspended up there observation room behind some mesh there just to protect us from those observers uh, there seems to be some more chamber going on up there we got some panels on the floor a bunch of panels up on the ceiling there's is that mesh is that a window is that a, there's a panel in there what's in there then up into here where we can get a close look at the observation room where nobody ever is. Wait, how do I get out of here now? Have I screwed myself? I think I might have screwed myself. Is that how a paradox works? No, I actually need to go back in time and stop myself from screwing up the map. Okay, let's do that now. So right, we've actually created a paradox, right? Because we've gone back in time to prevent ourselves from having to go back in time to prevent ourselves from trapping ourselves in that small little space. Doing the right thing now, right? We're going around the corridor labyrinth type thing again. Yeah, okay, there's the room I was actually looking for. This is actually the actual test chamber type bit of our paradoxical journey. Uh, so, right, up there is a place you can actually get yourself stuck. Oh, we don't want to go in there. That is just a place to create a sort of well, a paradox, I suppose, and get yourself stuck. Is it the same that side? It does appear to be the exact same that side, so we won't do that again. Uh, we do probably want to go up there, though. We can do that with one of those big portal launch maneuvers. You know the one. We'll try and ignore the disco lights over this side as well. Uh, there's nothing to launch out of there to get up there, but we can probably come out of there somehow. So let's try and do one of those classic portal maneuvers, which I, I, I struggle ever so slightly with. Quite a lot, actually, but it's kind of the reason half of you watch these, right? You like to see someone suffer, you sadist. Sadist? Yes, Sadist. The other one's Masochist. And there? Right, then we get up there where there is a... there was a desk. There was very clearly a desk up there. So we do want to get up there and see why the fuck there's a desk up there. It's a lone desk. Uh, we do that again, but better. Because that's how these videos usually go. Let's uh, drop into you. Replace that. Then I want to put blue there. Can I get up here now? Yes, right, we made it. There is a desk with a disc. It's a laser disc. What's a laser disc, you ask? Some of you think this is actually just a giant novelty CD from the popular video game Portal 2. No, this is actually a laser disc. Yeah, this was a real medium format in the day. Uh, you could get films on it, but nobody actually owned them because the players cost more than a small mortgage. And the only film you could get was E.T. anyway, so actually nobody owned it. Uh, what do we do with this disc? There's nowhere to stick a disc over here, so I assume you want to go stick a disc wherever the over here goes to. Uh, we got to get up there then. There's no launch yourself out there kind of thing. So is that that is glass, isn't it? So we're not firing through there. So what? I got to launch out of there, grab the disc at the same time, fly up majestically, and land right on the edge. I can probably do that, right? If not, we can always start a new loop of this paradox. 
I'm getting that right, right? Paradoxes are loopses? Loopses? That's that's really not a word. A paradox is a loop, right? I don't know why I'm asking. No one ever answers. Uh, let's let's do that again. Then. So if I put blue up there, we aim there with a blue on the floor. Before we go through the orange, we should fly up, and then I got to work out how to get the disc up there as well. So no, okay, we're gonna we're gonna struggle with this one now. Uh, there, that glass is clearly there to block me from doing that. Even though I got a loop going really nicely now. Oh, look at this loop. It's a proper perpetual loop, although it is of no use. Um, let's get off of that then. Get off of that. Uh, we need to do. Ah, uh, we need to do the other one. Uh, do the other far more graceful one. We can drop out of orange. So let's put orange there. Disc. I will possibly be back for you. I assume I need to be back for you. If we do orange there, blue there, fly out of you, and we get up here, and there is one of those ever so expensive. Laser disc players. Yeah, they were a real thing. Look them up. It did actually exist. But again, it was so expensive that nobody ever actually owned one. However, if you do find one and it's cheap, buy it because it's worth a fucking load now. It's really worth it. Uh, I want that disc, so I need to get down there, grab the disc, and get back up here. Can I do that with like some sort of flyby grab? Where's my disc? Uh, okay, my disc is there. Didn't really want the disc to go flying through portals without me just yet. That should be high enough to launch me back up here. And I assume inserting the vintage copy of E.T. will actually get us out of here. Uh, drop into you. Actually have to jump to do that. Jump into you, grab the disc. Did I grab the disc? I didn't get the disc. Right, that will work though. Just have to actually grab the disc on the way past. So, disc. There's the disc. Land up here, right on the edge. Insert our copy of E.T. Actually opens up the door. So is that I the first? Oh, hello. Hi, this, GLaDOS. But I can appreciate the desire to stop and smell the testing. That other scent you smell? That's the stench of my utter disappointment in you. I'm glad. I'm glad it's that. I thought it was me. I haven't actually showered in a few days. Uh, I take it that this will take us on another loop to part two of our paradoxical adventure. Part two then, please. Alright, paradox part two, where we will find more of the incomprehensible, I believe. This one apparently contains faith plates and deadly, deadly lasers. Just to add to the incomprehensibility. Oh, into hello. The next test chamber. I was on my way there. Which um, let's leave a portal here. Yeah. And how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Usually kind of singy. Ooh, a low strange shape for a portal map. Um, okay. The, the incomprehensibility is starting to increase. Is that by any chance? Portal? Yeah, okay, fine. I'll work with that. Uh, more of this sort of stuff, right? That is a really bizarre bit of wall to see in a portal map. I like it. Alright, more of this weird little corridor that... Okay, I'm, I'm lost already. Um, you want me to go in there, I guess, but what's through this one? Or is this the one we just were looking through? You know what? Let's stop trying to comprehend the comprehensible. There is shell in a rather small, weird shape. Uh, through here? Isn't this where I came? No, more corridor. Right, trust the faith plate. Don't trust the faith plate. Trust the faith plate to the target. Right, and down here is more small, creepy, confined corridor. That keeps twisting. And I found another desk. I found another laser desk. This is a red one. This means this one contains adult rated material. So we definitely want to find a player for that. And again, it casts its own shadow uh, through here. Yeah, okay. We'll just keep trusting the small, weird slots. Now here are some of those deadly lasers. Here is a red disc. Well, why are the... Well, why? Now I want to know what's through the red deadly lasers. I mean, I... I no, let's not... I mean, if I put you down there... And I've kind of screwed myself, right? Do we go back? Or do we just go slot you into here? You know what? You go in the red player. Must have been a special limited edition Mario version. Uh, is that I end of part two? Faster at this. Yeah, I know. I can appreciate the desire to stop and smell the testing. You said that, that already. Smell? That's the stench of my utter disappointment in you. 
Yeah, good. We've established it is not the scent of me. Uh, elevator to Paradox Part 3 then, please. Alright, part three of our continuation into the incomprehensible or uncomprehensible? What's the difference? Uncomprehensible or incomprehensible? This is paradox part three. This one only contains a tube that will deliver us a cube, but it also contains our, our uh, oh, green player this time, but uh, more of these creepy corridors. You're at the start now. You must be the Luigi version. Um, we're looking for a disc then, I guess. Do we go left? Do we go right? Is this a Stanley Parable kind of choices thing? Is it? Is it going to make a difference? Nerima took the corridor on the right. It made... a fair bit of... this... Hey, hello. Alright, you're... alright, okay, fine. Uh, left and right makes no difference, but going down the middle gets us a disc. Okay, I got a disc. We got a green one this time. This contains bestial. No, let's not make that joke. Um, let's go stick it in the green player then. The players are usually by the doors. Is this our exit here now? You go in there? And now this way? No, okay. Um, let's keep trying then. Do we get another disc? Do we go in the center again? No, the wall here has changed. The wall here has changed to... So what's back this way now? Back this way now is still the desk from before. Was this always in a small confined room? Probably was. I'm not paying a great deal of attention because I'm trying to comprehend. Because that's how paradoxes work. And yes, I'm going to keep making that joke. We've got a cube, we've got a button. I take it you just go sit on the button. That's comprehensible. I can make sense of that one. We do it quite a lot. Something else just changed? Wait, what did you change? I want to know what you changed. I want to make sense of this. That goes there. And... Something changed? Oh, okay. By not paying attention, we have found the exit. What's back there, then? That's where we were. Okay, uh, Paradox Part 4? Same light? Yeah, okay, this, I'm slow, I get I it. I can appreciate the desire uh -huh, to uh -huh. stop and smell the testing. Mm -hmm, uh -huh, mm -hmm. That other scent you smell? B.O. That's the stench of oh, yeah, my yeah, utter yeah, disappointment okay. in we you. You establish that part. Paradox Part 4, then, please. Paradox Part 4, which I believe is the final part of our unravelling of the paradoxes. This is still by Etta Sky, as you would imagine. And once again, this contains nothing but the incomprehensible, because that's how paradoxes work. Uh, right, at this point, I no longer know which corridor to trust or try. Well, I am going to try and slot myself into... Okay, there's no point in slotting yourself into there. Does left or right make a difference? I feel like there's a Stanley Parable kind of thing going on, and in this case, it does actually make a difference. Nerima took the left corridor, and it was the wrong way. So if I turn around here now, are you still the wrong way? You are still the wrong way. What about... Well, I've accidentally found the disc. This time it's blue. Um, hold on, I'm trying to think of a character. Ah, Sonic! This is the Sonic edition. It's only blue when it doesn't have light on it. Okay. Uh, how do I get out of this now? Nope, that's a dead end. In the middle slot again? Found a button. I found two buttons. I found some mesh behind the buttons. Or mesh in front of the buttons, actually. Because that's how a paradox would work. Uh, there's a panel on the ceiling. Disc, you wait there. Is there a panel in here? Are you a panel? No, you're a light. Uh, are you a panel? No, you're also a light. There's a lot more chamber there than there should be chamber there, though. Okay, take the disc. Uh, try and go back this way? No, that's, that's, that's the same dead end again. Right, this is part four. This is where I start to lose my mind going around, right? Well, you're a different dead end. Uh, that's the dead end I tried at the start. This way. This is where I got the disc. Where the windows are. Uh, there's no panels in here. Wait, how do I find my way, my way back to the buttons now? It was this one, right? 
Oh, this is the glass again. So wait, does that mean in here is the desk? No, this is entirely different bits of glass. And as you can see, my computer is also failing to comprehend this. Yeah, it's actually more a case of Windows is doing a fucking update again. No matter how many times I turn that shit off, it does it. Let's uh, put a portal there and think of that portal as our breadcrumb back to some degree of sanity. If I can... Wait, how does this work in these kind of maps? Because you're not there there. You exist there, but not there. So, wait, my portal is not here. My portal now, in fact, doesn't exist anywhere. Yes, there's some of that uh, crazy world portal bullshit going on now. And I am very much lost. Now I can... Ah, I found my portal again. Doesn't help. Uh, this way? This way. No. Nice music sting fitting in with me walking into the wall there, though. This is where I wasn't, because that's how a paradox works. Where the fuck am I going? No, okay, I am actually completely lost now at this point. I don't know. There's my portal again. I don't know if that is actually helping having a portal placed somewhere to remember where I was. Especially... Huh? How the fuck are you up there now? Okay, uh, let's not question it. Somehow that portal is simultaneously above me and on the same floor as me, depending on where I am in this paradox. Yeah, the world portal thing, I I really like it. It really screws with my mind, but in that kind of weird... Ah, I can put a portal here. That That's good, right? Because now I could do nothing. Um, where is that in the world, then? Is that where we... Can I not jump on a disc? Yes, I can. I can't jump on a disc looking up? No? Okay. Try not to crack the thing. I actually just want to try and work out where I am. Disc, you sit there. Uh, where's that blue... Oh, God, it's all the way up there now. Okay. Um, I'd really do a portal panel somewhere here that I could actually make use of. Is that a panel? That's a panel. And that's a different place entirely. Wait, so now I'd need to leave... Blue there... Wh wherever it is now. And try and find my way back to somewhere which... How are you there and there? Okay, you're, you're screwing with me now. Which I understand is the entire point of the map. Uh, that is the same dead end which we have tried a few times. This way? Now? No, that's that's in fact that very same dead end. Alright, it's got to be through the... No, it's the, that's, that, that's that dead end that we dealt with before. Okay, I don't know how to get through this. And now you're both miles away. The fuck, game? Okay, Eta Sky likes to cause brain damage. Ah, right, um... Who should I trust now? I put orange on you. Where do we go? You go to a place with mesh. And we're the other side of those buttons. Ah, well, let's do you. And you. And this way? Okay, right. At least one button is progress, right? Absolutely no idea what this button just did. But I feel good about it, I, I think. The entire, entire world has now changed again, right? Everything is now completely different again? Yes? No? How do I get out of here? How do I... There's a panel up there? Can I hit that and then use that? But then when do I go from that? Because now aren't we just back in this maze from before? Somehow we get to that button. We gotta take the disc with us again. They keep changing places and it's really disorientating. Uh, this way? Just noticed how thin this disc is. That's incredible. You'd think it would snap really easy. Uh, no, I'm back to the exact same dead ends that I keep walking into. Uh, oh, hello. 
What a happy accident. I believe I found the correct button. Uh, which has done something. The portals are now miles away again. There's a lot of floors in here and I... I saw you pop in there. Now you're both up there. Wait. Did I just screw up? Oh, no, thank fuck, I dropped it. Ah, oh, interesting. I am on the border of existence. At this point, existence ceases to be and bees to exist. Because, you know, that's how paradox works. Yeah, I'm onto your trick, set of the sky. I found one of the seams in your reality. And I don't know what to do with it, so um, I'm just going to keep going around the corridors until it seems like I get somewhere. Yeah, no, I've, I've dealt with you already, right? You are the button I've already dealt with. You pop back up and I can press you again. Which makes me worried that there might be some sort of time shenanig... You weren't there before. Some sort of time shenanigans going on. Were you there before? Do you do, you do anything? Am I interactable with you? What do you hide? You're locking this away. It's something in... Ah, there's a blue disc player. There's the Sonic theme player. Okay, um... Do you by any chance open that up, like, really quickly? No, you don't. Okay, uh... And it isn't around here. No, the, the, the same button is here. Wait, hold on. You're there and you're simultaneously there. Unless you're a completely different button, because that's how paradoxes work. Uh, now you're open for me and I can just... No, you're not there at all now. No, you're still there, but you're there. Wait, do I have to have both of you pressed at the same time? Something moved, I heard a thing move, but it wasn't you. Something moved, but it wasn't you. Okay, fine. Uh, and, and you? Do I keep trying the two buttons? Is it is it timing? You're not moving for me. I'm going to wander around this way because I don't know where else to wander in there. But in there isn't in there, but in there is there without the thing? No, I found a panel though. Let's uh put blue there. And do I want to be here? I don't know if I want to be here. This seems like a wrong place to be in a paradox. But then I am still not here, so... Yeah, world portal maps. They're fun. Going slightly mad. I have been walking around the same corridor, I believe the same corridor, for quite a while now. Uh, okay, fine, let's go through you, you, but this is just here. And now I can't find the buttons, which I buttoned before because they were in here no they're not in here they are here no they're not in here they are yeah well these maps are fucking confusing is it this way because this is a whole different way right no this is this is where I found the bloody disc um all right I, I came very close to a blue player before and we get an episode of Sonic oh crap does that mean it's Sonic CD wait Sonic CD was the good one right it's Sonic Sonic... What was the shitty Sonic one? You know the, know the game, I mean. The really awful Sonic game. Sonic CD was on the Saturn, right? And that was actually pretty good. I don't think I want to be here. I think I want to be... Uh, not here. Anywhere but here right now. Where are those bloody buttons that I was dealing with a minute ago? I actually need things. <laughs> I'm back here at the desk. I actually need something to actually fucking use as a breadcrumb trail. That's that dead end again. The breadcrumb trail now. And this is the window. So we shall call this corridor dead end window. And we shall call this corridor dead end same window. So we go through here. Which takes us to not here. I'm really confused now. I can't even find the buttons that I was dealing with earlier. I mean, earlier, like five minutes ago? Probably more than that by now, right? Where is where? This isn't the same as this, is it? This is a very different this to this. No, this is... 
These are the buttons I was dealing with before. So that means in here is that thing which getting close to feels like some degree of progress because there's, there's the blue player. I can just make out the blue player back there. Uh, okay, so both buttons like really super quickly and then things move. Something definitely moves when I press this one and it sounds like it's right here. Am I just not quick enough? Do I need a portal somewhere? What if we do this one first then, which is still around here. And we do that one. And that's the one that seems to delay things? Or is it now this one? I heard the thing move. I get through. Right, we're finally through and I can stick you in there. And I have succeeded in unraveling a millimeter's worth of this map. Uh, let's go press U then and see what horrible thing you want to do to me next. Well, you're... Oh, okay, okay. You you silently open this. Very Scooby-Doo. And there's more of this. Oh, great. What the hell? No, this is the bit which was horrible to me. I don't want to be in that bit. I want to be in the nice brightly lit bit with the thing that feels like it got close to doing something. Can I, like, eject this? No? Okay. No, no sneaky things. Press you again. Okay, fine. I'll go back out into the maze labyrinth. Uh, do I press them again? Is it something different in here now? Oh, there's still the player in there. Fine. We don't go that way then. We go into the bit that was in the back of... Not that one. It was the bit that was in the back of this one. I'm pretty sure this is the same dead end I've dealt with already. And then this time, this way is entirely... Back at the fucking desk. Okay, alright, fine. Uh, this way. Uh, ooh, ooh, a hole in the floor. That's different. That's that's good, right? Uh, that actually looks like an exit. Is that actually... I thought you'd be faster at this. But I can appreciate the desire to stop and smell the testing. That other scent you smell? That's the stench of my utter disappointment in you. Right, let's stop talking about my personal hygiene and try to comprehend that. In fact, let's not try to comprehend that. Uh, let's acknowledge that that actually is probably the exit, unless this is about to screw with me again. And that was uh, Paradox Parts 1, 2, 3, and 4 by Etta Sky. So thank you for my nosebleed, Etta Sky. Um, can I send you a bill for my t-shirt? No? Right, I'll just add it to the pile of t-shirts ruined by portal maps. Don't ask about the other ones. Yeah, that was Paradox Parts 1, 2, 3, and 4 by Etta Sky. So a big thank you to Etta Sky for those. Big thank you for watching. Uh, yes, weird maps. Send me weird maps. Weird maps are very much what I want to play now. I will continue to play pretty much everything that gets sent to me eventually. And I do mean eventually. But the weirder the better. I, I really like the weird shit. Etta Sky clearly has a very good grasp of... Uh, it's the world portal, right? It's That's how you do that stuff. You... You uh, cause brain hemorrhaging by messing with the world portal. Anyway, I will leave it at that. And if you want to send me a map, weirder the better, do so by the usual means. Because that's how a paradox works. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, I think. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. So long and thanks for all... This is a real room. This is a real room. The fish.